So it's cold here this morning on the Gulf Coast, but there's still things to do. And continuing with the prep of the month, which is Prepper Fitness, I have decided to um, build myself some sandbags for um, carrying weight in the backpack for rucking or humping. We still haven't decided what to call it. Bought some play sand. That's less than two bucks for 50 pound, pounds of play sand. And I got these off Amazon for less than nine bucks. They're four sandbags. And these are made, as you can probably tell from the name of the company, ABC Canopy. These are made to be weights uh, for the corners of your little um, uh, shelter covers that you can buy those little pop-up covers that people use like at garage sales or out at the beach or whatever but I figured they would work pretty good as sandbags for my uh, my rucksack my backpack I guess I'm gonna start calling it a ruck sound like a damn army doggy anyway that's what we're doing today now I understand I've I've never made these before but these are items I did make sandbags for um, to weigh down backpacks before when I was in a, a school called Sulk School back in the 80s we had but all we did is actually take green military sandbags fill them with sand and then duct tape the hell out of them um, these things supposedly will hold 20 pounds of sand I guess 10 and 10 because there's two pockets but I'm going to fill it to the point where I can seal it good because that's that's what's important to me all right that's looking pretty good I think what I'm going to do is see what that weighs and rather than just him and haw trying to get the same weight for each bag I'll just get to where I'm happy with a bag where I feel like it'll seal good and then I'll write the weight of the bag on there I need to be able to change the weight of my bag just like you would change the weight on a barbell or a dumbbell or an exercise machine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to weigh this bag that I have not filled up, but I, like I said, I want to make sure I have a good seal and see what it weighs. Okay, so I've decided to go with 15 pounds for this one. Marked it with some paint pens uh, after I got them thawed out paint pens on that fabric and I marked it on both sides <sighs> so now I know how much it weighs and uh, that's a 50 pound bag so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fill up another 15 and a 20 that should close out that bag and I'll have to buy another bag to finish that out but basically what I've just done is made myself a set of four um, sandbags for putting into my backpack for rucking and I did it for, let's uh, see, less than $9 and less than $2. So, not bad, guys. I know you can go and buy this stuff, already made, but it's going to cost a lot more. Okay, this is where we end up. I got three of the bags filled, two with 15, one with 18 pounds of sand. I decided 20 pounds was just too much for these bags. Um, would they hold it? Sure. But... I didn't, I didn't like the, the seal that I got when I put 20 pounds in there. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to 18. And um, I still got one I need to fill, get a little more sand. And I've got two packs here that I'm thinking of using. One is this Molly 2 frame with what I think is a Molly 1 bag on it um, that, I, that I'm really liking. And I, and I might throw some in there and go humping with it just to, just to see how I like it. But the other is this old Air Force bag. When I was a cop for the Air Force, they uh, issued me this. Uh, the DOD cops got issued black, everything black, except for our uniforms. And uh, it's fairly well built, although the zipper did blow out on top. And uh, I think I might start out with that one, see how it does. And um, I'm going to throw all this together and, and go hump around with it, see how it, see how it feels. Thanks for watching.